I am back Saturday morning. About three days of rain, so progress has been a little slow. Uh, we were hoping to get these demising walls uh, finished here. Um, I talked about this a little bit last week as far as the gabled ends of the demising walls being done. Um, you can see this line right here. Uh, we are poured up to that line. So what we're looking at doing here is continuing that plane up through the attic there. Um, so what are we, six, seven feet to the point? Followed the contour of the trusses down. Um, this will be beautiful because all we need is the half inch drywall to continue up through there and block off the attics. We've had some problems here with uh, firewalls and kind of the interpretations and how all these are gonna work. We're gonna eliminate that here very, very easy. You can see just kind of our buck at the end of the wall there. Um, I'll have a course of video of this when we pour it, but that plane of that truss, or I'm sorry, of the foam there is exactly the bottom of our plywood. So what will happen is they'll have the fire rated plywood, which will be a different color that bridges over top of that wall, uh, roughly four feet on either side. Um, so that way the fire happens in here, it's allegedly contained inside of that area. You can't burn through the plywood and jump through, but this is awesome. Um, beats the heck out of these double wood walls and the five eighths drywall that I keep talking about that are relevant and present up and down these roads. A lot of these areas uh, that 5 8 moisture resistant drywall has taken on a lot, a lot of water. If the paper is compromised, the rating of that fire is gone. So what we're going to be finding is a lot of guys are going to be cutting about two feet of drywall off the bottom of their walls, moving backwards, slowing the process and development phase down. Whereas the ICF guys here, we're rolling. Um, we talked a little bit last week and I've got a blog um, that I'm starting here, kind of a, some of the, the code enforcement infringes and problems that we're having. On a couple of the units, you can see these buildings are stacked on top of each other. If we are eight feet, or I'm sorry, if we're less than 10 feet apart, what now is happening on the exterior walls, and I'll uh, upload a picture on this as well, these exterior walls and gabled ends now have to have 5 8 moisture resistance drywall on the outside, under the Tyvek, under the siding, to keep the fire from jumping from building to building. Yes, you heard that right. 5 8 moisture resistant drywall. The gable ends now all have to have a couple different layers. I don't know if we're doing two, uh, what the uh, parameters of that are, but you can see all the nails sticking through from the sheeting, so somebody's gotta go through, bend all those nails over, install the drywall on there, cap it with another layer, notch the drywall around all the vertical braces in the wind braces that are in there, fire cock it, fire tape it. What a nightmare. These exterior walls should mirror image these ICF walls. And if anything, the only walls that should be wood would be interior and maybe perhaps those back walls. But as we move forward in this development, what I would like to see personally is these demising walls turning into creativity and bearing walls. All the floor trusses and trusses all run this direction, which obviously the truss needs to stay. But if we were to turn the floor joists and run them perpendicular to the demising walls, we would have a lot less problems with plumbing, mechanicals, and everything else in some of these other units. We've got the bathroom, toilets, ductwork, everything is running in here. So a web truss going from wall to wall, hanging off the ICF wall, would suddenly take these beams out of the equation, lower the costs, keep the ceiling all the same height, and eliminate a whole lot of issues. So again, load bearing or uh, structurally independent walls, as they're termed in the world of wood framing, is what these are, not an option for everybody else. I think we can rewrite the rules, turn this into a bearing wall, run the floor joists, flip them, problem solved.